to hang out with them. I the saw every day. The friends, the teachers, um, just a little stuff that we've done on the side. Yeah, we're basically going into like a whole different world. Nervous because uh, these are the kids I've grown up with all 12 years of school and the last four years of high school. And nervous that I won't see some of them again. It's sad because I won't see some of them again. It's proud to know that the guys I made started with, I'm going to finish with. Yeah, I'm the same with him. School is all I've known so far in my life, and I'm getting out of high school. Moving on to bigger, better things. I'm not real sure how to handle all that yet. I get to know that I did good, I tried my hardest, and I finally get to go do something with my life. I'm ready. That's like, that's what, I'm, that's what I keep saying. I say I'm ready. I'm ready for everything. I'm ready for my life to begin, like truly to begin. You know, this is a big accomplishment, you know. Like, I'm not going to shadow the fact of how big this thing is. It's very, very important. Because my great-grandparents never even finished high school. And now they get to see me, you know, you know, go through it all. You know, it's, it just seems like it's very fulfilling on a, on a personal level and on an ancestral level. It's like I'm, I'm a high school graduate. The graduates wanted to start out this ceremony by recognizing the two individuals that are not with us at this graduation. If you'll notice to the left, we have a picture of a teacher, Mr. Keith Hatcher. He was a psychology, broadcasting, history teacher. He's supposed to have been teaching this year. He's also a softball, football coach. Mr. Hatcher sadly to say lost his battle to cancer on 3-11-15. To my right is also one of their classmates, Zach Emery. Zach's brother will accept Zach's diploma this evening and will be carrying a cross that was made out of horseshoes from Zach's horse. This cross has been hanging over Zach's favorite morning spot here at Old Rock County High. And that spot called the Ag Bean. It's in the back hall. His picture has been on display for our kids to look at and understand the meaning. Zach lost his life in a fatal crash. 4, 5, 14. Everybody listen. Because Zach would say exactly what Zach would say. He wants everyone to buckle up. It's very important you do that. Wow. You guys are awesome. So proud of you. Just like everybody in this gym. You're an amazing group. Amazing group. Let's reflect. Let's reflect on the past four years. Your freshman year, you came to us labeled as a good life. Mr. Hoover said, hey, you're getting a really fantastic freshman group. We talked, remember the first day we talked, first week of school, we ended up with speech about being leaders, about looking in the mirror, giving that 100% on everything and everything you do, how important that is. We ask you to be leaders of our school. The people in the crowd, listen, it's very rare for freshmen to be leaders of your school. Very rare for that to happen. But I'm going to tell you something about this, this class right here. They have been leaders. From their freshman year to their graduation, they have been the leaders of this school. Your sophomore year, you excelled with the course assessment. You excelled in English 2, Algebra 2, Biology. Always academically, so strong, so strong academically. Your junior year, you met all the state benchmarks on the ACT as a group. 
when you demolish the four sets of soap set three. Very intelligent group. The whole group, very intelligent. When you get to your senior year, we have the 50th graduating class. The 50th graduating class. How awesome is that? To have the 50th graduating class to be such a great class. I hope you notice the gold star that we're wearing when we came in before we be wear white. But this graduating class when we wear gold representing that 50th year, don't they look good? They look really good. They want me to mention the lip dub they did this year. If you haven't, a chance, haven't had a chance to go watch that, that's celebrating my 50th year. It covers all the decades, 60, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And they did a phenomenal job of the health care treatment back there. Great lip dub. If you've not seen it, go see all I can out for the 50th anniversary lip dub. It is phenomenal. At this time, they want you to do something special. The seniors want. They would like for every person in the past 50 years that has graduated from Ohio County High School to stand up. If you're an Ohio County graduate, please stand. They would like to recognize you and tell you thank you for the foundation you have laid for them to be successful. Graduates this time, you can stand and tell them thank you. Thank you, Mayor Singh. Lots of memories. Lots of memories of this graduating class. I'm going to tell you something. Nothing but good, I'm going to go step out on that, great memories of this graduating class. You know, every year there's a school prank that goes on. Uh, one year they tried to sell the school, one year they put mirrors all around the campus. This year, this group chained all the doors. So on the last day of school, nobody could get in the building. <laughs> but you forgot the ballroom. So the custodians got here early, went through the ballroom, climbed across the catwalk, getting into the school, getting the boat cut, crawling back out, opening the door. Clever load, I still give you that. It's still good. But you forgot one door. Right? And also, what's up, put me on the mom. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. That's good. Now, if we reflect some more, when we ask you to be the leader, you know, that's always a big challenge to ask questions. I really didn't expect it to happen, I'll be honest with you. But you were leader from the freshman year all the way to your senior year, and you have been a great leader. Let's give my hand for that. That is phenomenal. set the ball extremely high for all graduates behind me. What I mean by that, academically, you smashed all testing, all ACT, everything. You set the bar extremely high for all classes behind me. But you know what impresses me the most about you, this graduating class right here, is how you care about each other. Anytime we do to raise money or do something for someone, you've always stepped up to the plate. You step forward and you help that individual. That tells me right there, you are a very caring and loving group. And that is very impressive. As a graduating class, it's our responsibility to kind of have you call what we're ready. The highest CCR score ever, like here this year, right now it's 70, and we could go up. That smashes last year for about 11, 12 points. So you're at 78. That's a new record for our school. You set all the academic records. For the accountability index in Mohawk County, you set all the records. You set all the benchmarks. Let's give my hands back. Every year I'd like to give the graduating class a little award. And this year, if I was going to give an award to this class, it would have to be. Now, I've only been here 27 years. You've got to understand, the school's 50 years old. But the award I would give this class would be the best graduating class ever. <laughs> Not 27 years. I've been here 
the way you cook, carry yourself, the way you act, phenomenal. Let me tell you something about this class. We have had no discipline problems out of them all four years. It's been amazing. I mean, this Alexander shaking your hand, Mr. Asbury back there shaking. Phenomenal. Your freshman year, no discipline problems out of this group. Phenomenal group. Very caring group. Very proud of you today. What a graduating class. So proud of you. It's going to be so missed. Unfortunately, unfortunately, now it's time for us to let you go. It's time for us to send you out the front door where you go to college, where you go to work. Life's going to change for you. It's going to be a lot of temptations, a lot of roller coasters, a lot of bumps in the road. Hey, listen, you're going to have to get up in the morning, get your clothes laid out, get them ready, do your laundry, manage your checkbook, fix your, fix your own food. All right? You've got to figure out where you're going to get that next meal. You get ready to have a lot of responsibilities. But I can tell you one thing. This group right here, you're ready. You're going to be successful. If I can just pick one word, one word to describe this graduating class. Excellence. Excellence. That would be the word I would use for this graduating class. You know, you're getting ready to graduate. Look around with your classmates. This is the last time that I brought you graduate from the line. This is it. This is the last time. Don't forget your classmates. Don't forget your reunion. Make sure you attend on a regular basis. Come and visit us with your wife. Love to see you. But always, remember, once an eagle, always an eagle. I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Alvin. Thank you, Ms. Alvin. Our guest speakers for tonight are uh, about the coin, blue coin. And I want to say something about both students. They are. These are two students who go above and beyond in any and everything. When it's academics, when it's community service hour, when it's preparing for a uh, presentation, uh, they are very, very successful. We're very proud of them. Our first uh, guest speaker, uh, he will be attending the University of Louisville. He will be attending there. But get this now. He has already, this is rare, already been accepted into their dental program. Already accepted from the University of Little Dental Program. That's an honor. And the third, Derek Bryant Westerfield, please go to the Good afternoon. When I first found out that I was the Louisvillian, I thought, oh no, I have to give a speech in front of all of these people. But as I reflected upon my memories in the Ohio County School System, I thought about the first time I heard about graduation. That was all the way back in first grade in Ms. Lisa Taylor's class when she read a very special book to us. Believe it or not, that same book was read in our first few weeks of our senior year and I thought about how much truth that was in that book. It served as inspiration for my speech today, and I hope you'll soon discover the book I'm referring to. So here we go. Faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates of the greatest class in the history of Ohio County Hospital, I would like to first thank you for this opportunity. A mere four years ago, we entered the school looking up to the senior class. Today, as seniors, we stand together as the leaders of this school. Our class, the 50th graduating class of OCHF, has already made several significant achievements. We have set the bar high for future generations. So, congratulations, today is our day, to we'll off to great places, we're off and away. We will begin to write a new chapter as we go our separate ways. Some of us will go off to college, some will go to work, and some may not know what life will bring their way. But remember, we have brains in our heads and feet in our shoes. We can go in any direction that we choose. But we all have fears, and that is okay. What is not okay is to allow your fears to hinder you from doing what you enjoy or from becoming the person you want to be. For most, failure is our biggest fear of all. The, failure, the fear of failure prevents us from even trying, and that is detrimental. As the hell is often remind us, we will form our dove on occasion, but we will live to do more damage. Yes, fear is real, but remember this, you have the power. It is within you. 
Be bold, put yourself out there, and try something new. This is the road to success. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't sue. Just go right along, and you'll start happening too. So, you may be wondering why I'm mentioning part of the children's book. That's because it is a lesson in itself. I don't care how old you are, you should always read children's books. They are full of wisdom that is worthwhile to people of all ages. It is also a good reminder for us to always be a child of heart. We are on our own and we know what we know. We will decide where to go. However, we will not be here today as a class without some very important and influential people. To our teacher, where do I even begin? Without each and every one of you, we will not be standing here today. Teaching is the most important profession, period. Without teachers, other jobs would simply not exist. Although it may not always be eye to eye, we know that everything you do is for a reason. It is because you truly care about us. You have pushed us, given us insight on our next chapter in life, and inspired us. Please know, no matter where we go or what we do, we will always care that you could be in our hearts. Teaching truly does change life forever. Parents, family, friends, and my fellow classmates, please give a hand to our teachers for their dedication and inspiration. To our families, it has been your unconditional love and support that has gotten us to where we are today. I know that I would not be standing here today without my parents. Mom and Dad, you have taught me, laughed with me, cried with me, loved me, and truly shaped me into the man I am today. One that I hope you're really proud of. I will never be able to thank you enough for all you've done for me. To my brother also, I cannot tell you how much your support has meant to me. You have always been an amazing brother and brother. I truly have been blessed. And finally, to my fellow classmates, the class of 2015, these past four years have flown by. Although we may not know it now, these truly have been some of the best years of our life, and I'm very thankful I've spent them with each and every one of you. We are the 50th class of Ohio County High School, and that is special. We have left our legacy on this school, one that's quite impressive to say the least. We have shared so many good times together and made the best memories. All year, we have celebrated the 50 years of excellence, and whenever we need to laugh, we can always reflect upon our memories at our final fun time. However, our legacy has just begun. Each of us has our whole life ahead, and what we will make of our lives will truly create our legacy. Just because we come from a small town does not make us any less important or intelligent. Go out and prove the world better. Eagles are bold, fearless, tenacious, and in sore high. I encourage you to all do the same. After all, we will always be evil. Whenever you fly, you'll be the best of best. Wherever you go, you'll talk all the rest. So I ask you now, how will you contribute to the class of 2015's legacy? You each have your own story to write, and although one amazing and incredible chapter is in you, there are several more to come. So write a beautiful story. You are the author of your own life story. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting to get on your way. Our time is limited, so don't waste it living a life in fear. Don't let others' opinions drown out your voice, and most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Although many see graduation at the time of saying goodbye, this time I do not want it to be a goodbye, but other hand, I will see you later. This time, no one will say goodbye. The memories that we have shared we will hold forever. And, just in case you forget, you can always watch our awesome look up to refresh your memory of this time great we do really well. I'll leave you with this. Trust in the Lord and you'll renew your strength. Then your sore on wings like eagles. You will run and not grow weary and walk and not grow tired. Oh, the places will go. Oh, the places we will go. Thank you.
I'm so grateful for my family, my teachers, and close friends, because I know where I am today it could not have been possible without their love and support. Now for the class of 2015. I am sure for most people sitting here today, the past four years have been a mixture of happiness, sadness, nervousness about what lies ahead, excitement, boredom, and at one point or another, being completely and totally overwhelmed with emotion. All of us have encountered different obstacles throughout our life. Problems and change are part of life. Unfortunately, we will never stop facing challenges as we continue on to college and into the workforce. When one issue is resolved, it's inevitable that eventually another will surface. It is always easy to focus on the negative side of life. However, when you find yourself in the desert down or negative situation, try to change your perspective. Find any excuse to be happy and have a positive outlook on your life. Even though there will be times when you are taken by surprise or unsure of how to make the right choice, have confidence in yourself and don't be afraid to fail. Failure is a waste of time. How do you react when you have failed? That's something that determines whether or not you will be successful in your life. Staying motivated and determined, no matter what, will take you places farther than you ever imagined. It is important to remember that we are all still learning and growing, and we must be moving forward. As people tell me all the time that it must be nice to have never failed in my life, and it must be nice to succeed at my first attempt at everything. And I always laugh because it's so far from the truth. As a matter of fact, I've had many occasions where I too felt I was around in the world of failure. One of my instructors gave me six words that continue to inspire me to keep working hard. One step back, two steps forward. The important mentality to me in everything we attempt is positivity, confidence, and of course, the courage to keep moving forward. Everyone in here is successful in making it count. Just from talking and getting to know some of our classmates here, I have been beyond amazed at how brilliant some of the people that came to us at the performing and even at those people. Not to mention our academic and athletic all-stars who proudly represent Ohio County in any of their competitions. We also have students who are phenomenal with nursing and medicine, are gifted in agriculture, and who can take issues with their neighbors. Honestly, if you look around, we are a diverse class. From the charismatic social butterflies to the shy, technical minded future engineers, the class of 2015 is going to be crazy and have no training. Today, we have officially made it graduation. As we look around and see our classmates all dressed up, it may be hard to believe how many of all grown into it. For most of us, we may feel it's a real, and it's just yesterday we were hoping to be walking to the freshman hall. Or you may feel overjoyed that it's finally over and that you say it couldn't come soon enough. Whatever the case is for each of you, I know everyone will accomplish amazing things after the age of day. I encourage you all to stay motivated and determined even when you feel hopeless. There's always a solution to a problem. When you reach an obstacle, don't be afraid of it. Just go for it and keep moving forward. Remember to maintain your integrity as you enter the real world and never cower down when others try to drag you into your neighborhood. Believe me, so we get into that topic. Keep your head high and never take your eye on the path that lies ahead. The path that ultimately leads to the fulfillment of your dreams. With this being said, I would like to thank you all for a great four years. I can honestly say that I will never forget my experience here at a high school. I will always cherish the knowledge and friendships I have gained over the last four years. I'm proud to say that we all have been graduating class and be able to call myself a part of the class of 2015. Though today we may be stepping forward for our future, we will always have our memories and moments here at Ohio County High School that we will suffer through this time. We will always be a family, and this goodbye is not forever. When we leave here today, I want everyone to remember, as we walk across the stage and start a new chapter, never forget the memories and the good times of your own after. Your memories to be made, and your life to begin. Never forget to say, we all do it. Thank you and God bless the class of 2015.
chance to the part that you've been waiting for, the presentation of those performance. So we're going to have a special presentation first, okay? At, at this special occasion, we have a very special presentation. We'd like to present to you a very special young man. At this time, they see out. Raven Paulson. Good luck. 